For this problem, we want to find the coefficient of determination, r squared, and the standard error of estimate, s sub e, and interpret the results. So for this problem, the data set is a table that shows the number of new vehicle sales in thousands in the United States for Ford and General Motors for 11 years. So to find the coefficient of determination, we want to go to the same place we went to when we found the regression equation. So I want to click on STAT, scroll down to Regression, and select Simple Linear. For this problem, the X value represents the new vehicle sales for Ford, so I'm going to select Ford, and the Y variable represents the new vehicle sales for General Motors. All right, and we can leave everything else alone, and at the bottom of my screen, I'm going to click on Compute. So let's take a look at the output table. The um, coefficient of determination, r squared, is right here. And it's rounding to three decimal places. It's about 0.816. And that can be interpreted to be about 81.6% of the variation in the new vehicle sales of General Motors can be explained by the relationship between the new vehicle sales of Ford and General Motors. So what that means, R squared represents the amount of explained variation between X and Y, or in other words, 81.6% of the variation can be explained by the relationship between X and Y. And the complement to that, 1 minus R squared, is um, um, about 0.184, and that means that eight, about 18.4% of the variation is unexplained by this linear regression model and could be due to sampling error or a lurking variable. Now, the standard error uh, estimate is right here, and StatCrunch calls it the estimate of error standard deviation, and rounding to um, three decimal places, that would be uh, 346.340. And um, what that means is that the standard error of estimate of the new vehicle sales of General Motors for a specific amount of new vehicle sales of Ford is about um, 346.34. Okay, so what that means is if we were to fix um, an X value, the corresponding Y values for that fixed X value would be normally distributed about the regression equation, and the standard deviation for that normal distribution would be about 346.34.